All right, so since both of these ended up being similar, I just put them in the same video. Uh, I'll be doing the DG home first and then the great value and then the schematic at the same time. All right, this is a DG home, 12 watt, 1100 lumen, 180 milliamp bulb. I think that's around a 75 watt incandescent equivalent. So yeah, unless 12 watts, power factor, and amperage, close. Okay, barely feels warm. That is not, not coming apart, it is not turning and is not popping out. So I don't know, they must have really, really glued this thing in. Okay, so I was able to get a tool in there and run it all around the edge. And that gave enough to, there we go. Okay, so that was, yeah, that's a, just a ring to pop in. And so it was mainly glue holding it. Looks like. There's only a couple tabs around the edge. Yeah, there's only a couple tabs holding it in, but a lot of adhesive. A couple screws, a couple soldered contacts. Is everything on the top? No, it can't be. So that's just, wow, okay. So that looks like just a straight connection. We have probably a fusible resistor down in there. Okay, so we've got the regular heat sink base, two posts, plastic posts for the screws, and just connected straight down to the base. Nothing inside at all. Well, this is a great value, it says. Uh, 6 watt, 78 milliamp, 450 lumens, so that's a 40 watt incandescent equivalent. And less than 6 watts, power factor, and milliamps. Must not be rounded. Alright. And another one. That's, yeah, this thing is... Definitely not popping off or spinning out. So I was able to just run around the outside and another one, stick a screwdriver in there and pry it off, stab myself in the hand, of course. So this one is also glued in there quite well. I just happen to be right where the notch was. Interesting, okay. Oh, let's see, what do we got? Oh, it's a couple. I can hear something vibrating around inside there. All right. What's no. holding it in? Okay, all right. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, we have the, the neutral on the line, so that must be the. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a capacitor just stuck right up under through there. Interesting. And then the line in the neutral with probably a fusible resistor down in there. Okay, now we jump over to here. All right, 
so the the DG home. Okay. Well, I don't know. <coughs> All right. So for the DG home, uh, let's see here. Very simple. I haven't done uh, ones like this at all that are just have a single chip. Um, but so a fusible resistor, bridge rectifier, smoothing capacitor, discharge resistor. Uh, when I measured this, it was 156.6 volts DC. Uh, then over here to the controller chip and the sense resistors. Um, and let's see here, and yeah, and the LED LEDs. So for the LEDs is 125.7 volts DC. Not sure, you know, if we have 30 or 15 and three segments, it seems like it should be a little bit higher, but you know, maybe not. Okay, I'll uh, put the uh, data sheet on the screen right now for this. Uh, this is the BP5131H. Uh, it, even though it's the data sheet from the actual company that makes it, it doesn't actually have any uh, calculations for what the, the sense resistor should be for the current that you're trying to do here. So I'm not sure, maybe it's somewhere else. Uh, on the diagram, it shows that these are not connected over here, but on our board, uh, this pin was connected to this pin and connected to ground for whatever reason. Uh, it was fairly simple. Yeah, the, uh, these are all in two pairs. So it's two goes around, two goes around, and it just crosses back and forth. Okay, the great value. <laughs> uh, basically, very similar. Got a fusible resistor, bridge rectifier, smoothing capacitor, discharge resistor. And over here on the input, actually it had a space for a C2, uh, pretty much probably a filtering capacitor, uh, but it was not installed. Um, we got seven LEDs. Uh, each one of them had six segments. Uh, between here and here was 154.5 volts DC. Between over the LEDs was 127.7 volts DC. Uh, you have the controller chip and two sense resistors. I'll put the data sheet up on the screen right now. This one is written in Chinese, but it actually does have uh, calculations for figuring out what the current's going to be. Uh, pin two here is connected to the ground over here. And uh, this is the other alias for this type. It's kind of difficult to find. Yeah. Pretty simple. This one I think would come apart, I guess, maybe easier than yeah, this one's soldered on. You have to take the solder joints off. If you're going to do anything to it, maybe make the wires longer so you can pull it out more and work on it. Whereas this one, these are pulled through so you'd have to get uh, something in there to spread them apart oh yeah yeah so you could definitely get something in there to pop these apart that's a interesting locking mechanism though all right uh, that is that's those two and uh, any uh, questions or comments leave them in the comments below